Hallo zusammen, wie geht es euch? It's Alisa from Lingopai here. In this video, you are going to find out how to learn German through TV shows and movies. We are going to provide our top 7 German language shows on Netflix. These top picks are excellent for learning new German words and phrases. And they are so super gripping and engaging. By the end of this video, you'll have learned how binging great TV can be one of the best tools for learning a foreign language. And you'll have a list of the best seven shows on Netflix for learning German. Remember to thumbs up and subscribe for more great content about language learning through TV. And after this video, you can sign up to Lingopie streaming platform by following the link below to get started on your German learning journey. But first, let's dive into our seven top picks for German TV shows on Netflix. Seid ihr bereit? Lass uns starten! First up, it's Parfume, a dark murder mystery thriller set in the Lower Rhine in Germany. The narrative follows the investigation of gruesome murders taking place in the area. In this German movie, we follow investigators Nadja Simon and Matthias Köhler and the prosecutor Grünberg in their quest to find the culprit. There is a lot of sexual content, steamy affairs and gripping drama throughout the show. Perfume is a great choice to help you to learn German. The tone is dark and intense, which means the characters often speak slowly, serenely and generally very clearly. It features a lot of dialogue between two people, which is easier to follow than group conversations, so it's very accessible for beginners. It also features German music, which you can note down and listen to afterwards for some extra German language learning and cultural awareness. You can binge watch the six episode series in just a couple of days. It's available with English or German subtitles and we recommend you try to watch it just with the German subtitles, so you are not distracted by the English and missing the German pronunciations. Second in the list, Dark. If you're looking for a show with more episodes to sink your teeth into, try Dark, the critically acclaimed science fiction thriller about a missing child. In this show, the inhabitants of a fictional German town called Winden uncover a sinister time travel conspiracy that spans over several decades. If you love Donnie Darko and Stranger Things, this could be the show for you. It has three seasons and 26 episodes in total. Dark is a great pick for learning German because like Perfume, the language is clear and spoken quite slowly in most parts. On top of that, Dark features young people speaking colloquially and informally. So you can use the show to study in different forms of speech and sayings depending on the context and formality of the situation. Next in line, Freud. The next show is Freud. This crime series is a reimagined fictional account of Sigmund Freud's early life. It follows the famous psychiatrist in his quest to solve a string of bloody mysteries in the 19th century Vienna, with the help of a psychic and an inspector. Freud is a great pick for learning German if you are planning to live or work in Austria, as this show is set in the country's capital. Although the German spoken in Austria is almost the same as standard German, you can use the show to pick up on subtle differences in dialects, accents and Austrian culture. Just the same as binging the other German language shows, binge watching Freud will help you to learn grammar rules organically, as well as sentence structure, slang and common phrases that don't directly translate. Learning from context in this way is proven to be hugely beneficial to your language learning. And it's fun! In this unusual and entertaining show, you won't even realize you're learning German. You'll be too busy waiting to see what happens next. The next show we're gonna be talking about is called Barbarians. Set in 9 AD, this German historical drama series is about the occupation of Magna Germania by the ancient Romans. The native German people try to resist Roman occupation as a united front but suffer fighting from their tribes, as well as issues with selfish tribesmen who seek peace with Rome. If you love Game of Thrones or The Lord of the Rings, you should give Barbarians a try. 
The show was picked up for a second season at the end of 2020. So start watching it now and you'll be ready for season 2 to drop later this year. Barbarians is a fun pick for learning German as you will get lost in the period drama and learn some interesting war themed vocabulary. Just bear in mind that a lot of the words and phrases you'll hear aren't super relevant to your life right now, we assume. So we recommend this for people learning German at a more intermediate level, who want to build on their vocabulary. It might be a little bit difficult for beginners. What's more, while the German characters speak in standard German, the Roman soldiers speak in classical Latin, which can get a little bit overwhelming for beginners in German. The next show we're going to be talking about is Dogs of Berlin. It's a crime drama series set in Berlin, which follows police officers Errol Birkan and Kurt Grimmer on the investigation of the murder of a fictional Turkish-German football star called Orkan Erdem. Their suspects include neo-Nazis, the Arab Mafia, Turkish nationalists and the Berlin Mafia. The officers have to dwell into the shady underworld of Berlin to crack the case and one of them has the connections in dark places which could cause problems. Dogs of Berlin is a fast-paced and dramatic series which is accessible to beginners with the help of subtitles and a great for intermediate learners to deepen their vocabulary and listening skills. A lot of the characters are emotional and panicked throughout so they can speak more quickly and with inflections in their voices. This could pose a challenge, but the clear Berlin accent and the well-written plot are enough to keep you engaged to learn useful new words and phrases. There is just one season and 10 episodes of Dogs of Berlin, so you could even watch it once with English subtitles and then again with German subtitles if you need the help at first. The next series we're going to be talking about is called Holiday Secrets. The plot? A family on a Christmas gateway explores their past and the intimate complexities of their relationships in this emotionally charged drama. Set on Germany's beautiful but moody north coast, Holiday Secrets deals with the serious subjects including suicide, alcoholism, dementia and mental illness. But it does so in a sentimental and delicate way, making this three-part series well worth to watch. Holiday Secrets is a great choice for learning German, especially for beginners, as it is a family drama based on real-life themes and relationship dynamics. That means the vocabulary is relevant to a lot of people's lives, and you can study the way different family members relate to one another and which language they use. It's also well written and provides an insight into one typical German family's tradition, culture and manners. Last, but not least, is the gripping, at times heartbreaking, but overall uplifting series which follows Esti, a young Hasidic Jewish woman, as she des decides to flee her husband and her sheltered traditional life in Brooklyn, called Unorthodox. She jumps on a plane and starts a new, liberated and modern life in Berlin. However, when her husband discovers she's pregnant, he follows her to Berlin and tries to bring her home. This is a fascinating show and a good pick for learning German, as well as for exploring the traditions, role of women and customs in Hasidic Jews communities in New York. The characters in the show speak in Yiddish and German, as well as some English This means if you're watching purely to learn German, you will have to stay aware of which characters are speaking which language. As to the untrained ear, you might confuse Yiddish and German. So to wrap up, there we have it guys. This has been a quick video about our seven top picks for German language shows on Netflix. At Lingopie, we support learning a foreign language through watching videos. It's great for picking up new words, phrases, slang and even grammar rules, although at times you won't realize you're studying because you'll be so engrossed in the show. This is why learning German through binging on Netflix works so well. You pick up on the language organically while you watch and learn from native speakers how to use the phrases naturally. 
Why struggle with a textbook when you could be discovering a new German language murder mystery on Netflix? We really hope you've enjoyed this video and that you're ready to start learning German by watching great TV. Remember to like and subscribe for more TV and language learning tips from LingoPie. You can sign up for a streaming platform with this link in this video to get started on your language learning journey today. That's it for now. Bye bye. Auf Wiedersehen und tschüss.